Hey everybody, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today I have the last set from the 9 figure charge exclusive pack, and that is the Hoth Rebels, my least favorite of the three packs. And so the Hoth one is the middle one, the pink one. So the figures include a Hoth Han Solo, Hoth Rebel Trooper, and FX-7 medical droid. So I'll start off with the Han. I already have one of these Hans from the Saga Legends, except mine doesn't have the gold mustard yellow strap. Mine is a brown strap on the macro binoculars. Only difference. So, the only thing, I have this one with the uh, goggles off. So, you know, nothing I can really say about him. He's got a ball joint to neck, ball hinge shoulders and elbows, swivel forearms. Uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles. You know, he's got a blaster pistol with a holster. He's got the goggles. He's got the macro binoculars. You know, there really isn't anything about him. And we've seen way too many Hoff Hans. It's about time we give them a rest. There's a few other Hans that we could probably see out there. Or maybe some even comic book ones. So. Good figure. It's just um, a little little too uh, widely used. Uh, next we have the FX-7. Now I am, I do like this figure because I haven't, I, I haven't had one before. Um, this guy is a repack from the one from the Power of the Jedi um, FX-7 on the basic card. He has multiple arms. Every single one you see here is an arm that can come out and has one of these little claws. This um, this arm you see administers some kind of uh, something to the back to tank where Luke Skywalker is in, and if you sw turn the bottom here, the upper part moves. So all these claws come out, which is nice. He's got great detail to him, and you know an overall great figure. I have him in my uh, droid collection at the moment. So you know a great figure. And happy to have him, so not disappointed with him. Uh, the last figure I have is the Rebel Hoth Trooper. Now, this one is slightly different from the one from the Legacy Collection wave. Oh, it was like five or six. Um, I got that whole wave. Um, this one has a lightly, a, a lighter shade of brown to his hair and beard. Where the other one has a darker shade, like the color of this um, brown on the uh, head piece. He has a removable backpack, a blaster pistol with a working holster, and a oops, uh, somewhat of a helmet piece that can go over with the goggles. Now the um, Legacy one did not have the removable helmet piece. This figure is also in the Target exclusive defensive hop pack which I hope to pick up soon, along with the cancelled Hoth Trooper. Uh, he's got a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, uh, swivel forearms, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, ball hinged ankles. I mean, these. this is a great figure, and I really like his um, detail here and on his backpack, but these three figures I really don't have much to say about because they really aren't too much, too interesting. Um, the Han Solo was melted way too much, and we have way too many of them. And the Hoff Trooper, you know, it's good, but now, um, most likely by the end of the year, I will have about three of them. So, the only good thing I like about this is the FX-7. So, um, I really got it for the other two packs, the Imperial set and the uh, Bespin Alliance, but, you know, hey, three more figures, couldn't complain. So, you know, all together, great pack, and I'm really happy I received the uh, Empire Strikes Back Special Action Figure Set, uh, Hoth Rebels, Bespin Alliance, and Imperial Set, which is a Target exclusive. So, thanks for looking at this, um, basically, three-part review of this set. And so, until next time, Star Wars Collectors keep collecting, Star Wars fans start collecting, and may the Force be with you. Bye.